I walked away a long time ago. But right now, being that I was all gung-ho for Andrew Yang, a part of the Democratic Party, I'll say that I'm totally done. With Andrew Yang, I was so excited. Make America think harder. All in. Universal basic income, we need it. Because I live in public housing, I see that people are struggling and they're tired and they're exhausted and they just need a break. I wanted universal basic income because people need that security so that they can think better and make better decisions. Period. That was the only reason why I was going back to the Democratic Party. But I left them a long time ago. So, in this, I'm saying I'm walking away again because when Andrew Yang told me to endorse Joe Biden, I'm playing 3D chess. I get why he did it. I understand the game being played. But I can't believe all the people who stopped thinking just because Andrew Yang said support Joe Biden does not mean that I am automatically giving him my vote. I know why Andrew Yang said it. I know why he needed to say it. That does not mean that I'm automatically voting For Joe Biden. Then he put his foot in his mouth. Joe Biden put his foot in his mouth and said that black people are a monolith. That is absurd. (sighs) Then he chose Kamala Harris as his running mate. That was a slap in the face. I have integrity. Considering that I have been a libertarian since I discovered what a libertarian was, and I was almost all the way on the anarchist boat, like for real. Like I was ready to be like, okay, we need to tear this shit down and start over from scratch. Like for real, for real. (laughs) Because I could see the corruption. And I'm sure a lot of people can see the corruption. And now I have language. It's a duopoly. The Democrats and the Republicans are scratching each other's backs. That's wrong. They're supposed to be working for the people. As a conservative-minded person, that means that I value my family. I value my right to be an individual. I take personal responsibility for my actions. I'm not seeking a nanny state. I don't need the government to tell me what to do or how to think. The government's job is simply to protect me from international attacks as far as I'm concerned. The government is to, is supposed to make sure that my rights as an individual are protected. That's it. That's it. I don't need the government to do anything else. You can collect taxes to make sure that the military is funded. Cool. Cool. But you don't get to dictate to me who I marry, how I make a living, how I build my house. I mean, seriously, I mean, come on. Okay, we have some sort of rules on, you know, ground rules to make sure the house is safe. But other than that, I'm good. I mean, we need to scale back government intervention in our personal lives. It is getting ridiculous to the point where people are so entitled They really think they can get the government to bully me to do what they, these people 
want the government to tell me what to do with my body. No. The Democrats have lost their mind. The Republicans are right in line. They can go. They all can go. In this pandemic, they issued the people one $1,200 payment and then bailed out businesses. They gave unemployment to the gig workers. Cool. What about everybody else? What about those moms who were homemakers? Their husbands have lost their jobs. And now, instead of them having that good income to maintain their home, they're relying on unemployment. Last time I checked, those homemakers did not qualify for unemployment. So now they have kids to take care of and don't make enough money. Food stamps can't pay my light bill. Food stamps can't pay my water bill. Food stamps can't pay my internet bill. You in the government basically told the people, again, forget you. That's wrong. That is wrong. And I, for one, am tired of it. I had told my sister a long time, I'm happy Trump was in office. It's almost prophetic that he chose a running mate whose last name is Pence. You do realize that together their name is Trumpence, right? People are talking about the Armageddon apocalypse, the next coming of Christ. Trumpet sounding. Trumpets sounding. Did you catch it? And we have a president and vice president. Trump Pence. Trump Pence. Keep up with me now. I know it seems a little bit absurd, but the writing is on the wall. We need to vote Trump out. As a conservative, trust me, conservative-minded, I have love for my country. I'm a patriot. How could you not be a patriot? How could you not love the country in which you live? How could you not appreciate free speech? How could you not appreciate freedom of religion? But how could you also not notice that the mechanisms that we use, Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, are censoring people. The mainstream media is censoring the reality that there are multiple parties available for you to choose from, but you don't know about them. That's what bothers me the most. And then when I tell them, tell Democrats and Republicans, Both third party. They have been brainwashed to believe that a third party candidate is a sure win for Trump. But think about this logically. There are Republicans willing to vote for Joe Biden. And there are Democrats willing to vote for Trump because they really don't want Biden. So they just flip-flopped. They literally flip-flopped. So everybody that was going to vote is still going to vote for a retard to be in the White House to just mess crap up. No. 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 If all those people that are sick and tired of the Democrats and all those people that are sick and tired of the Republicans just totally went third party, could you imagine? Could you imagine? We could have a third party president. I'm not going to tell you which one it is. 
It could be Howie Hawkins or it could be Joe Jorgensen. But if everybody finally said enough is enough, the trumpets have sounded. They need to go. The Republicans and the Democrats need to go. We've already had debates about how Nancy Pelosi and everybody in Congress who has some sort of money just took all the money from the PPP, from the EIDL, and put it in their own pockets. Have you lost your mind? That was supposed to be for the people. What happened to the Main Street Act? What happened to the Main Street money that was supposed to go to the the mom and pop businesses? Do you realize that that got shut down and the money just... Where'd the money go? Where did the money go? I'm walking away from the corruption. I'm walking away from the blatant pandering. I'm walking away from the fake Black Lives Matter agenda. I'm walking away from the fake America First agenda. I'm walking away from the fake trade agreements. I'm walking away from the BS. I want the truth. I want America to think harder. Period. Think harder. Do a true evaluation of your candidates all the way down the ticket. Don't just vote Democratic just because they have a D by their name. I want you to know what they stand for. Do they even stand for anything? Do they mean anything at all? Or are they just putting a Democrat behind their name because they're just like, oh, well, this is an easy race. They're lying to you. They're manipulating you. They are preying on your emotions. Are you really that gullible that you're going to allow them to do that? As soon as I say I believe Trump, when he says that the media is fake, you can't deny that the media is fake. You just hate that Trump is the one that said it. But why can't you figure that out on your own? Why can't you see that on your own? It doesn't matter if Trump said it or Biden said it. The media is full of crap. They are feeding you a manipulated narrative. I find it rather interesting that the only time black people are being killed, it seems to be an election going on. That's the only time you see it in the news. That's why I like to listen to all the stories on YouTube. All the stories all over the place. Anywhere I can come across a new story. I don't just pay attention to CNN. I don't just pay attention to MSNBC. You can't do it because they're lying. They're manipulating you. They're manipulating you to a T. They are getting you to do exactly what they want to do. Do you realize that it doesn't matter how many people leave the Republican Party, you are still going to their alternative? The truest protest, the truest version of walking away is to vote third party. Period. You can't logically tell me different. Oh, well, they're not viable. Who told you they're not viable? Who told you those third-party candidates are not viable? How is it that they could be on a ballot in any state? Any state. Have legal battles to get on a ballot in one out of the 50 states. They shouldn't even have to do that. That right there lets you know how corrupt stuff is. Pay attention. 
and trust yourself. Stop being manipulated and told what to think. You need to walk away from them both. You can Green Party or Libertarian Party. They're still available. Look them up. Joe Jorgensen, Howie Hawkins. Walk the heck away.